Hey everyone, so welcome to What I Got for Christmas 2016. Let's do this. In case you don't like watching these videos, then just don't watch it, but I love watching What I Got for Christmas, so I'm gonna do one. And I did this video last year. It was my second video ever, and I'm just completely awkward there. I'm wearing this hat too, and just, it's really funny. Anyway, <clears throat> I got so much stuff and I am beyond grateful for each and every gift. I love them all so much and yeah, so first thing I got is this <laughs> super fluffy light pink rope and man, it's it's so comfy and fluffy and I actually like chose, I bought it with my mom so I knew I would get it. It's so soft. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh my god. Um... Then I got this um, super cool bag. I actually don't know what the brand is, but yeah, it's like dark blue and super cool. I also bought that with my mom. I actually bought a lot of stuff with my mom like before Christmas, so I knew about a lot of gifts, gifts but I also forgot about a lot of gifts. And then I got this, like, what's this called? What's the color called? I don't know, it actually looks more brown on camera, but in real life it's a little more pink, I don't know, whatever. It's just also super soft. It's from Forever 21, I think. And it's just so cute. I love it. I'm so looking forward to wearing it. And I feel like it's more for spring. But I'm gonna wear it now because I love it, man. Yes! Uh... Next thing I got is this super cute top. I actually don't know where it's from, unfortunately, but you know, it's just striped and... Um, I'm pretty sure you'll find this anywhere. And I got it in, like, black and white and, like, dark blue and red. And I love it. It's so cute. I, <laughs> I love tops like this. Like, super simple but just, like, cute and, yeah, whatever. And then I got some socks and, <laughs> my gosh, there's nothing better than Christmas socks. Man, like, first I have this one with Santa on them and it says on the nice list. So cute. And those ones are even cuter. Like, man, they have snowflakes and hearts and trees and uh, so cute. And then I got those ones, like, not the normal socks, but the fluffy, cozy socks. They're the best. Like, <laughs> I actually sleep in socks and they're perfect to sleep in because they're like, they're not tight, but they're super cute and warm. Let me know if you sleep in socks. I know that, like, someone told me that you shouldn't sleep in socks. But during winter, like, you know, I'm super cold. <laughs> then I got three perfumes, and I adore perfumes. And also they had a sale. I already knew. I also knew about this. They had, like, 50% off, so that's, you know, awesome. And I tried two of them. I actually didn't know this one. Fun fact, my mom bought this to me for, for my birthday. I have my birthday in June, in freaking June, and she forgot to give it to me, so she gave it to me now, and I actually like, a, I love Katy Perry's um, perfumes, I already had Killer Queen and something red, I, I don't remember the name of the second one, but I love them, and I got, um, this one is the Royal Revolution Katy Perry, this one is Beyonce Heat, Wild Orchid, and this one's Lady Gaga's fame, and this one is black, and holy shit, like, the way it looks, it's so cool. I love how perfumes look super cool, like, look at that! Isn't that fucking cool? Just, yeah, I like I said, I adore perfumes, I'm freaking excited about this, and, and they smell so good. I already, like, put on one of them yesterday and another one today. And then I got two Funko Pop, um... Yeah, and I got Luna Lovegood and Ron, and now I have, like, the Harry Potter squad is coming together, because I have Hermione and Harry at home already, and I have the, uh, the prom, uh, Hermione, and, like, a Quidditch, um, Harry, and it's just, <laughs> then I got those super cute pants from the store called f, &F. I also kind of knew about this, but not completely, and they're so 
freaking cute and so warm and, and just comfy and oh my goodness. Then I got Marshall headphones. Man, I, I'm so excited about this. Like I wanted headphones. I told my mom that I wanted like really good headphones with awesome sound and that vlog like the outside world because I... I, I take the subway when I go to school and I never hear the music on the subway so I wanted something that blocks everything around me. And then another thing I got are five books and man, if you know anything about me, I adore books. And I'm sorry, the lighting just kind of got weird. So I'm sorry, the lighting sucks. I really, I'm sorry. But another thing I got is a light. It's like a... It's not a ring light, it's like a mini ring light that you can put on the camera. I would show you right now, but it's somewhere, I don't know where. And I don't have batteries in it yet. But from, like, it's gonna get better, the lighting will become on point, and it's just gonna be awesome. But anyway, to the books. I don't exactly know what they're about, like, I actually chose them too. Like, I wrote a list, my dad. And, yeah, but I forgot, like, which books I would, um, get. I mean, I didn't know which ones I would get and just, I, I forgot which ones I wrote there. But I kind of like picked those books from what people said. Like I watch a lot of booktubers from Goodreads, I don't know, it's just whatever. But I don't exactly remember what they were about. But I'm gonna try to <laughs> tell you something, a little bit of something about it. But anyway, this one I have no clue what it's about. Uh, but it's a contemporary romance about a guy... And it says that just, um, wow, well, <clears throat> I'm not gonna read you what's in the back, I'm not gonna read you the synopsis because that's just stupid, but what some people say about it? Funny, uh, the zenith supplies personal insights and a clever self-deprecating tone to person that make a book an entertaining read. A book about depressions, that's, that's not the least bit depressing. Oh, that sounds nice! Anyway... It's, I didn't even say the title, oh my god, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini, or however the fuck the name should be pronounced. Sorry, don't know much about this one, I'm a complete fail, but anyway, to the next one. The Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clues. I've heard so much about this book, like a lot, from uh, booktubers, and I read about it on Goodreads and stuff, but I don't exactly know what it's about, I don't know the details, but it's, um, <clears throat> It's a fantasy, <laughs> probably a romance too. Uh, I don't, I'm not good at describing what things are about, and especially not when I don't know it, you know, obviously, yeah, but anyway. It's just a fantasy, I think it's also a romance, and it looks just super cool. It just looks like a really nice fantasy, the cover is gorgeous, and it's just something that the main girl it has powers, and they think that she's a chosen, she's the chosen one, you know, classic, but she's apparently not the chosen one, I don't know. I, yeah. Next thing I got is The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer, and this is a, an autobiography, an autobiography, like, memoir kind of thing, and it's supposed to be really funny, and I don't know her much, but I love memoirs, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm just looking forward to reading this book. Another thing is maybe someday about Colleen Hoover. This is a contemporary romance, and man, I am so excited about this one. Colleen writes the best romance ever. I love romance, and I love romance, but my favorite is fantasy romance, like usually contemporary romance, it's easy for me to like something, but I rarely adore the books, and her books, <laughs> I adore them, like they are contemporary romance, they are so good, like my gosh, and this one, the last sentence here is really good, so I'm gonna tell you that. A passionate tale of friendship, betrayal, and romance. Maybe someday we'll immerse the readers in Sydney's tumultuous world from the very very first page. Well, apparently the guy uh, cheats on the main girl and then she falls in love with, like, another guy. I don't know. Like, yeah, but I, I'm just looking forward to it. Then, Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll, and the cover is so cool. I actually don't have a clue what it's about, but I think it's contemporary romance. Uh, I think it could be like a little bit of mystery too. I'm not sure, maybe I'm saying complete bullshit, but kind of like what I'm looking at right now, it kind of looks like it. Her perfect life is a perfect lie. Annie Finelli. Why are the names so fucking stupid? I can't pronounce even normal names, but this is like, what the hell, man? 
gosh. Anyway, she has the perfect life, but behind her sharp edges and meticulously crafted facade lies the darkest of pasts. Yeah, it kind of looks like a super cool, mysterious... I, I'm not about mystery much, but it looks cool, it looks great, it looks wonderful. And that's nearly everything, but I saved the best last. I also got this onesie, which I've been chilling in today and yesterday in the evening, not gonna lie. And also, another thing I got is this fucking beautiful watch. It's rose gold, and it's so cute. Like, <sighs> I'm dying. So that is a wrap on the gifts. I <laughs> I am so excited about everything and so grateful for everything and I'm just so freaking happy right now. I can't wait to up my game. Oh my gosh, I, I also got an enormous, gigantic tripod. Like the one I had before wasn't completely perfect. It was great. It was awesome for a start, but I really want to upgrade my channel. I wanted to just, I want to up my game. And that's gonna happen because I got this tripod, I got the light, and maybe something else. Uh, maybe not. I don't know, but that's enough for an upgrade. I am so excited for next year, and I'm so excited about everything. Seriously, look forward to fucking epic videos because I am gonna up that freaking game. And yeah, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like binge watch what I got for Christmases because just I definitely will. And yeah, have a brilliant day. Hope you're having wonderful holidays. Merry Christmas and uh, see you soon with another video. Bye!